Hi, welcome to the Unity Game Dev. My name is Frederick. Today I'll be showing you how to get free models and animations from Mixamo and how to import them into Unity. Mixamo is available for free for anybody who's got an Adobe ID. It does not require a subscription to Adobe Creative Cloud. Once you've logged into www.mixamo.com, I suggest you go to the Characters tab and there find a character that you want to work with. In this case, I'm going to go with Remy. Just click on the character and you'll be presented with the character in a T-pose. From here you can click on the character and move around. You can zoom in with the mouse wheel. Now we want to import this character into Unity. To do that, click on the download button. And for the format, select FBX for Unity. Pose, just keep it on T-pose and click download. The characters are usually around 31 megabytes. I like to stay organized, so I'm going to create a folder in Unity called Characters. Create folder characters. And from here we want to import that new FBX file that we just exported from Mixamo. So I right click, import new asset, and I go to my downloads folder and I click on import and I've just import the Remy, Remy character. So let's try this character out in our environment. Click on the scene tab, grab your character and drag it into your scene. I'm going to zoom in and just kind of take a look around. Uh, you'll see some strange effects. It looks like the materials are not set correctly. Um, there's no color and some of the materials are shining through so let's fix that. So go back to your characters folder, click on the Remy character, make sure you're in the inspector and go to materials. So for the location instead of using the embedded materials select use external materials. Click apply. Okay, the new settings have been applied and we can now see we can now see that the colors on the materials are working correctly, but we still have some weird artifacts where the it seems like the shirt is transparent. After applying the materials new location setting you will see two folders that were created at the same level as the FBX import. The first one will contain all ping files and the second folder will contain all the material files. To fix the transparency issue, click on the materials folder, highlight all the materials and then switch from transparency transparent rendering mode to opaque and voila it's fixed. I think it's time we add some animations to Remy. So to do that go back into Mixamo.com click on the animations tab and I'm gonna look for an idle animation. I'm just looking for a simple idle animation. Uh, you can see that some are male and some are female. So look for the one that fits your character. Breathing idle. I'm going to select that one. Just click on it and it will automatically be applied to your model. And again, you can kind of move around. Take a look from old angles if you like it. I think this one's good. So, I'm just going to click to download it. Make sure you've got the FBX for Unity selected. I like it with the skin. And I click download. I like to stay organized, so I'm going to create a new folder just for my animations. Go into that folder. Right click. Import new asset and 
import the new fbx file. If you expand that new fbx and you click on the breathing little triangle which is the animation, you click play, you can see the character breathing. Before we can assign an animation controller to control the different animations, we have to make sure that these characters are set up correctly in regards to the rigging. So if you go back to your original T-Pose Remy character and you click on the Rig tab, you'll see that the animation type is in incorrectly set to generic. We want to set that to humanoid since this is a humanoid character. Uh, the avatar definition uh, is set to create from this model, which is correct. We'll just use the standard four bones. So I'll click apply. And now you'll see a new avatar has been created and attached to that FBX. You can click on configure avatar and change the various configurations. I'm not going to get into that. That's maybe for another video. So I'm just going to scroll down and click done. I want to do the same thing now for the new animation character that came in. So I'll click on the character, go to rig, click on humanoid. I'll leave the default settings and click apply. Okay, we're ready to create an animation controller. Right click in the characters folder, click on create animation controller. And let's call this Remy animation controller. Double click on the animation controller. And now we're going to go back into the animations folder and just drag that whole character in there and it will automatically grab the animation part and put it in the animation controller and link the default entry to that as the first option or the first animation. So if I click play right now and I just go back to my scene you'll see that this character is not playing the animation. To do that we have to first attach the animation controller to that character. So click on your character in the hierarchy and then you'll see the animator in there and the controller is set to none. So you can now just grab your animation controller and plug it into the controller and let's click play again. Go to our scene and there you can see the animation is running correctly. So in this case the animation only looped one time. If you want it to be a continuous loop, which is usually what you want to do for the idle positions, you do the following. You go back to the animations uh, folder, click on the character, and then click on the animation tab and make sure that you select the loop time. You turn it on and then click apply. And now if we play this scene again, you can see that the animation is looping. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give a like, subscribe, turn on that bell for notifications, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.